Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on the geometric mean. In this video, we're going to look at what the geometric mean is and how to answer some questions on it. So first of all, what is the geometric mean? Now, the mean we're probably most familiar with is the arithmetic mean. And that's the mean we get when we add up a load of numbers and divide by the number of numbers. Now, the geometric mean is found instead of adding up the numbers, we would multiply the numbers. And instead of dividing by the number of numbers, we take the, the if there was n numbers, we would take the nth root. So this is the formula. And the formula says you would multiply all the numbers together. So if there's n numbers, you multiply those n numbers together, and then you take the nth root. So here we've got a question, and our question says find the geometric mean of 4 and 25. So to find the geometric mean of 4 and 25, we multiply these numbers together. So we do 4 times 25, and 4 times 25 is 100. And then there's two numbers, so we're going to take the square root. We're going to take the square root of 100, and the square root of 100 is 10. So the geometric mean of 4 and 25 is 10. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So our next question says, find the geometric mean of 1, 2, and 32. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply these numbers together, and because there's three of them, we're going to take the cube root. So we're going to do 1 times 2 times 32. So 1 times 2 is 2 times 32 is equal to 64. And then we're going to take the cube root of 64. And the cube root of 64 is 4. So that means the geometric mean of 1, 2, and 32 is 4. OK, our next question. Our next question asks us to find the geometric mean of 5, 8, 10, and 15. So we're going to multiply the numbers together. 5, 8, 10, and 15. And when we do that, we get 6,000. And then we're going to take our 6,000, and because there's four numbers, we're going to take the four fruits. So we're going to do the four fruit of 6,000. And when we do that, we get 8.801117, and so on. And let's just run that to one decimal place. So that's 8.8 to one decimal place. So if we were asked to find the geometric mean of 5, 8, 10, and 15, the answer would be 8.8 .8 to one decimal place. Okay, so let's have a look at our next example. So our next example says, find the geometric mean of 1.75 and 1.12. Now I've chosen these two numbers on purpose, and actually I'm gonna pause now, and we're gonna talk about when the geometric mean can be quite useful. So the geometric mean can be quite useful in situations where there is relative change. So imagine if we had an island, and the population of the island keeps on increasing over every year for 10 years, and we had the percentage increase for each of those years for 10 years. If I wanted to work out the mean of those, Rather than working out the arithmetic mean, we would work out the geometric mean. Because with the percentage increase, we're multiplying each time. So we would work out the geometric mean, because then that would give us the, the mean, the one figure that we could multiply each year by for 10 years, and we would get the same answer at the end. Another situation where it's really useful is in compound interest. So again, with compound interest, we are multiplying each time by a multiplier. So if we wanted to work out the mean or the average, the geometric mean would be the most suitable. So for instance, if we had a really generous bank account that paid 75% interest in the first year and 12% interest in the second year, um, I wish it existed. <laughs> but if we had that, and instead of applying a 75% increase in the first year and a 12% increase in the second year, we want to to work out the main percentage increase. So in other words, the, the one percentage that we could apply over both years to give us the same answer. What we could do is we could work out the geometric mean. So we could do 1.75 multiplied by 1.12. And that would give us 1.96. And then because there's two numbers, we're going to take the square root of 1.96, and that's equal to 1.4. So that means that the geometric mean of 1.75 and 1.12 is 1.4. And that means if we had a 75% increase and a 12% increase, rather than doing a 75% and then a 12%, we could apply a 1.4% increase twice. That's the, the mean, the average. So if we have, for instance, if we started off with 100 pound, if we increase that by 75%, so we multiplied it by 1.75, we get that's equal to 175 pound. And then if we increase that by 12%, so multiplying by 1.12, that gives us 196 pound. So as I said, a very generous bank account. But also if we took 100 pound, and we applied a 40% increase twice, so using this mean, so times it by 1.4, that gives us 140 pound. And then if we applied it again, 
we would get 196 pound. So the geometric mean would be the most suitable here. If we worked out the arithmetic mean of our 75% increase and a 12% increase, it wouldn't actually give us the same answer if we use that um, arithmetic mean twice. So the geometric mean is found by multiplying the numbers and then taking the nth root. So if there was n numbers, multiplying them all together and taking the nth root. And it's really useful in situations where there is relative change. And that's it.